Okay, let's do this thing. How's it going, everyone? What's up, uh, what's up, Hecatumers? What's up, Thresholders? How you doing, Wind Technicians? We are all things Phantasmagoria 2 today. Um, and yes, as Dua Du said, it is Tori time. She will be back and uh, in taking the lead in, uh, in this, uh, this game and seeing how she navigates her way through it. I will be controlling the game. We haven't quite figured out the most effective way for her to control it, but, uh, but she will be in control, I have no doubt. Um, it's good to see you guys. Welcome to Conversations with Curtis. Uh, for Phantasmagoria Wednesday. It will be Phantasmagoria Monday, too, because on Monday, for our side quest series, we are going to have Noah Antweiler join us for a live stream Q&A with the fans, as well as uh, a, a sort of retrospective look back at his uh, infamous play of Phantasmagoria 2. We've got some clips chosen by most of you uh, by our, our Patreon members, uh, some of their favorite clips from that series, and we will, I will show them to him and have him comment on it. So that'll be fun. We can comment on his commentary. But uh, it's great to see you all. Thanks for coming. Got a good group already, which is nice. Um, and uh, I have been, <laughs> I'm going to watch Daniel's on, on Zoom over here, and I'm going to watch his head explode right now. I've been working on on uh, OBS, and I think we've we are going to have a really clean stream today. <laughs> he's so he's so frustrated. He totally believes that I just jinxed the whole world. The internet will probably go down around the world right now because I said that. But I'm feeling confident that we're going to have a good, clean OBS experience today. Um, and if not, then you know what? It's it's par for the course. All right. Um, I don't have any messages other than that. Uh, we're coming up on Thanksgiving. I hope everybody's got some fun plans for that. We will try to uh, get one more stream in next Wednesday. I think Tori and I are both available for that. So we'll go back to Gabriel Night 1 for next Wednesday. And then we will, um, I don't know what's going to happen next week. but And then we will be back this, uh, this Friday. Daniel and I will be back doing... Uh, LeChuck's Revenge. It's been weeks and weeks since we've been back at that game. So looking forward to doing that. And um, then we'll be working towards finding some more people to interview and doing all the stuff that we do. But it's great to see you all. It's a good group. Uh, I am seeing some folks that I haven't seen before. So thanks for joining. Soapbox91. That's a new one. Uh, but good to see you, Johan, Ray, CompuArt, do what do shot and Jaeger got a good group today. All right. Um, I am going to do just my due diligence here and do a quick shout out to our Patreon donors for a big thank you for keeping us afloat. Malika Francois, you guys lead the charge and we really appreciate that. Robbie Joseph and Moffat Reborn. You guys are um, our leaders. And then we have our 20 and $10 members. And then we have our five and three dollar members who are not on this card but we do appreciate that because every time we get a few more people at those lower levels it really does help so we're climbing back up just a teeny bit which is which is great oh and we do have a um i will say this right now uh for our coffee donations um oh no do i do you were number seven but i'm going to have to change this because i forgot to change it so let me find the right there it is. You guys are going to see the new, the new. There we go. Dun, dun, dun. Is it this one? Yeah. Uh, do I do was replaced by astronaut down. That's right. And I know who astronaut down is now. I think I've always forgot, but thank you, Chris, for, for stepping up and thanks for for uh, all you guys so james in the lead joseph austin at number two zwex number three moffat reborn clement yt wanderer and now astronaut down so thanks for for chipping in and then helping us reach our goals uh more often than not and our goal today is if, if we can manage it would be 150 dollars. that would be super helpful um to continue these streams and then what else did I need to show you? Oh, yeah, I didn't do this either. We have some new patrons. 
and um ah where did i go <laughs> well just pretend i'm still there uh let me fix the new patron one as well um I don't count this as things going wrong on OBS. I count this as as me not preparing. There we go. Okay, so the cool thing here is um, our new patron members who have shown up since November 7th of this month. TB, Cameron Witt, Critical Moment, Stephen Pettigrew, back again. Good to see you, Stephen. Uh, Dodo Lurker, Catherine Chucking Dice, Corbachu, and our very first ever uh, coffee membership member, Holger Jost. So that is exciting. So um, essentially, uh, let me come back to you. Let me come back. Where am I? Uh, with coffee, um, we have created a situation that's exactly like Patreon. So you can join coffee in the same manner that you would join Patreon and get all the same perks and all the same, all the same options. So, uh, so it was fun to get our first coffee member. Um, all right, that's all I got. I'm going to bring out our friend, the, the game master herself, Victoria Marcel Henningsen. There she is. Hello, Tori. How are you? Oh, you got to unmute yourself. <laughs> I knew that. <laughs> <laughs> there you are. Uh, um, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. I'm, you got my message to wear a uh, light brown today. Yes, we're we're matching. That's good. I like it. It's, it's cozy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're in our sweaters. We are. That's great. Uh, I just saw we got a mess a donation from Do Wadu, and it's taken a minute for the uh, for the widget to show up, but it will i think and if it doesn't um i'll have daniel who is lurking in the background uh, read that for us um so yeah tell me uh what do you remember so last time we saw each other we were playing gabriel knight one and now we're switching back to phantasmagoria two what what do you remember what 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 sticks in your brain um well um the office and meeting everybody right but i don't remember their names uh, except for, um, wait a minute, except for Tom, right? And um, right, Tom is the like the manager. The, the jo jo is it Jocelyn? Jocelyn is his girlfriend, but they, he seems a little shy about sharing that information with everyone. Yeah, and then um, I'm trying to remember the friend's name, the funny guy's name, Trevor. Trevor, yeah, uh, I don't know why I can remember that. Yeah. So, um, and I think I'm, I'm getting the two games mixed up. <laughs> I know it's not, <laughs> it's like a blender. It is. It totally um, is. I think I want to like review what we have in our inventory because I can't remember what's in there. Yeah. We'll do that for sure. Um, but I rem but there was a weird thing that happened on the phone. Um, right. Or, or no, not the phone, the computer. Something came through. Yeah, the, the computer. computer smacked him. Or they, it, yeah. It, yeah. it hit him. Yeah. Okay. It's so all I, coming back to me. It's all coming back. Yeah. Um, so people are asking, uh, they, they, everybody feels like your fireplace is very cozy. And someone asked if it's a screensaver. <laughs> no. Yeah, you got a real fire. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. That's okay. We believe you. It's, it's real. Okay, good. No, it's nice. Um, mm -hmm. are you getting all prepared for, uh, for, uh, Thanksgiving? Are you having, are you hosting or what's the, yeah, um, I'm just having a, well, it's, it's my younger son's birthday today. So Aww. that's what my focus is. Um, happy birthday. And, and, yeah. He's 19. Oh my gosh. And, um, just crazy. My, I, my mom is just, we're having a very small group. My mom's coming from Oregon Okay. and okay. I'm going to cook. Man, nice. Yeah, I think we're doing the same thing. We're just having a very small Aww. gathering, just the just the the regular fam, and the, my brother will come over, and we're just gonna hang out, and watch movies, and eat oh, food nice. and stuff like that. Yeah. So. Cool. All right. That sounds nice. Are you ready to play some Phantasmagoria Two? I'm ready. All right. Let me load it up. And 
you, oh, I could, in fact, this is our chance also. I couldn't get Daniel into the, I couldn't loop him into this particular scene, but he's going to show up in a nice little. Our hint keeper. Our hint right? keeper. Here we go. So here's the game. And before I start the game, there's Daniel down in the corner there. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Hi. <laughs> Hi. How are you? I'm fine. How are you guys? Good. You, you've moved Good. back to Star Wars, I see. Yeah, because I wasn't expecting to be in the scene. Well, let's take a look. Let's see what you got. It's still a it's still well, a t-shirt. It's Star Wars, The Force Awakens. Now, my issue with, with this t-shirt and the fact that I uh, wore it today when I wasn't expecting to be inside the OBS scene is the fact that there's a star field on it. And when I bought it, I didn't see the star field. But the star field, when you uh, walk in the light, looks like dandruff. So I can't wear the t-shirt outside. <laughs> They weren't, they weren't thinking properly about what nah. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Um, do oh. do tipped five dollars. Tori, do you have any family secret special recipes for the Thanksgiving dinner? Oh, good question. Well, um, <clears throat> I make, well, a family recipe is my mom's mushroom, rice mushroom stuffing, but, um, I my since my son likes cornbread stuffing, I make a sage cornbread stuffing. Ooh, how does that? So I and I I make it vegan because I I'm vegan, but um, it's um sage. It has a lot of sage in the cornbread, and then it, and then you mix sage with your uh, celery and carrots and, with your mirepoix mix, you know, and it's it's really good. That sounds awesome. That's All right, awesome. we're gonna need uh, we're gonna need your recipe, and we'll post it on uh, on one of our on our on our Discord oh, okay. channel or something like that. Yeah. Okay. Oh, even okay. even your your mug for today is a is a lovely light brown. We're we're we're, we're all brown all day today. I really try to be color coordinated, <laughs> <laughs> even with your cups. <laughs> That's impressive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Daniel, did uh, do what do do what do did. <laughs> did two uh donations can you remember can you read the first one that he he wrote to us yeah, the first donation do i do a uh, tipped 15 dollars oh man and nice. he wrote tory tip that's a tory tip nice so i got a tory tip and now i got a recipe out of it so that's that so works out pretty good yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. thank you all right um let's <laughs> click the mouse to continue all right so oh daniel why don't you tell us where we are what we've been doing or what we did before well, I, what I wanted to ask is if uh, Tori remembers the name of the lead character. Curtis. <laughs> <laughs> Trick question. <laughs> I got scared for a second. <laughs> Morpheus Reborn tipped $15. Conversations Daniel, with the lead the character. Regular sized Daniel. <laughs> Much less expensive if you can't afford the full sized model. Tiny sized Daniel. Uh, we have to read that again. Tiny Daniel eats less than a regular size Daniel, much less expensive if you can't afford the full size model. Good. So he's a lot easier to bring to one of these dinners because he won't eat up all your food. That's good. Yeah. Nobody puts Daniel in the corner, <laughs> just like fungi places. Um, okay. So we, we've we established that the, the lead, lead character is Curtis. Curtis. And the, the actor is just so subtle and, and just you can't keep his, your eyes off. The nuances. The nuances. The, nuances. the riveting yeah. performance. Very, <laughs> All right. Very what, else, what else do you want to tell us before we click the mouse to continue? Well, we are working on the Venom uh, document at the moment. Uh, we've met the entire office. Therese, Trevor, who is his best friend, Tom, sure. the manager, mm -hmm. and Bob. He's co. He's a uh, not so pleasant co-worker, yeah, to say the least. Wow. And Jocelyn and Mr. And Warner. Jocelyn, yep, we and Mr. Yeah. Warner. Mr. Warner, that's the boss. That's the boss. Yep. Yeah. Mr. Warner. Paul Allen Warner. Yeah, and wow. that's it. We keep exploring the the office at the moment. Therese harassed us in the storage room a moment ago. Oh, the, right. She That's the face. last thing we did in the previous episode. We okay. went to the storage room, and uh, oh, did she, she just... came on to us? Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. That's right. This and is... Curtis's uh, glasses got foggy. 
<laughs> That's right. Oh, I miss working in the in the office environment back in the nineties. It was to always be like that. <laughs> All that inappropriate stuff. There he is. I don't know. <laughs> this his his shirt looks a little rumpled this time. Doesn't look nearly as uh I remember they used to iron these t shirts. They would iron it them. makes it a bit saggy. Yeah, it does look a little saggy. Um, all right, so she just left us. Is that where we are? That's why we're standing there feeling yeah. sheepish? Okay. Um, I will move around the room. We'd look there. That doesn't really... Uh, uh, You've looked it through here, right? Yeah, I'll show you what I remember. Um, oh. Ron Rayton tipped $10. Adrian and Curtis joining forces always warms this fan's heart. Kudos, uh, you guys, uh, my favorite duo. Thank you, Ron. It is, it is, so it is nice. great yeah. fun, and I am 100% with you. Um, as much fun as it is to play games with Daniel by himself, it is a real treat well, to play games with you, too. Funny you should mention it, because I talk to Ron like on a daily basis, and he always asks me when the next live stream with Story is. I think that's a that's a running theme with all of our fans. That's um, so nice. Wow. Do we try to get in here again? We didn't. Did you try to get in here already? And you tried. Yeah, we didn't. And we, we weren't able to do it, right? So we. Need, yeah, we can use. We needed something. What did we need? I think it's Is a, there key. a key. Yeah, yes. we need to find a key. Okay, so we need. Oh, oh there are all those keys um, by Tom's office. I remember, right? Yeah, that's right. All right, let's go. Let's go to the office. Unless these keys are just weird set design. They mm -hmm. don't serve any purpose. Okay. So we have to find it somewhere else. I'll bet you, well, mm. <laughs> I'm acting like I've never played this before, but it's because I <laughs> generally don't remember anything. So it kind of feels like I, I, I haven't. I'm glad I'm not the only one who, I, I feel like I don't remember anything. <laughs> I mean, honestly, Paul, if you forget the name of the main character in this game, this will be a new low. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> By the way, now that you're near the water cooler, click on the Alt and on your belly button. The alt. There's oh. no alt. So could click, click the hold the option and click uh, Curtis's belly button. Bef okay. I was going to comment that when Curtis walked into the, when he did his key card, he looked kind of annoyed with having to use the key card to go into, into the office every time. All right. So, hmm. okay. I just, oh, <laughs> what is that? What is that? <laughs> Do I have to keep doing it? That's now? Andy Hoyos, the director. Oh, <laughs> Andy. That's hilarious. Yeah, when, when his eyes did that on set, we always knew it was time to get back to work. That's hilarious. Oh, I got to turn my fire down a little bit. It's... Okay. <laughs> a little too cozy. Yeah, it's burning my back. Do I just, does it just, whoa! <laughs> they made Curtis do a double take. Yep. That was great. They use your fidgeter for an Easter egg, they, and they, they didn't even know it. They did a double take. I, I, I love double takes. That's great. <laughs> there's a uh, there's a beautiful theater in Seattle called the Paramount, and uh, they you know, all the big big movie all the big theater uh, musicals come in there. But during the fall, they have silent movie Mondays, and so starting this Monday, they and they have like a beautiful organ, and they will play the person will play live music with these classic old Buster Keaton. Charlie Chaplin movies, and so we're going to go see one of those on, on Monday. I'm super excited. Oh, that'll be fun. Yeah. Thinking of, speaking of double takes. All right, so wait, let's, do you want to get a drink of water? Sure. All right, let's do it. So I'm trying to remember we've what we've shown to which like who we've shown our inventory. Oh, right. To. All right, so yeah. We've shown our wallet to Tom, our key card to Trevor. And uh, I think the photos, the Christmas photo you showed to a couple yeah, of them. Yeah, we showed a couple of them that. So we should probably show more stuff to more people. Also, yeah. do we want to see what the, can we go in here? Oh, I guess we can't go in there. So you're saying those keys are just set des set design? Like the keys by Tom's office aren't those aren't the keys? 
the keys by Tom's office are set design. They don't serve any purpose in the game. Good to know. We won't waste our time. Who would you like to talk to first, Tori? Let's talk to Trevor. Okay. He's there, yeah. I'm seeing things. I think I have to turn this up a little bit. Okay. We'll be okay. Um, but let's, let's get out of here for a few, huh? I'll, I'll send a mail to Tom. He won't mind, okay? Oh, look at that. Hmm. That, that happened quick. Okay, let me change. I think that it's a little low. Was that a little quiet for you? Yeah, it was hard to hear. Okay. Let me turn that up. Movie volume is up all the way. So I think that means I have to, I'm going to save. Wait, you want, you want to check with a uh, control F5? If you can change the volume there instead of control. messing around with anything else. Sure. Should I get out of this first? Uh, options. Oh yeah, that's pretty low. So let's bring this up. Oh, so it all comes up together. We can't, I can't, the music is going to be. Yeah, because there is no sound mixer in this game. Okay. All right. So the music's going to be pretty loud. Let's just see what this feels like. I just doubled it. Well, the music is awesome. It's fine. But it's pretty loud. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So here are our options. There is Trevor, there's the waiter, there's, I think, those, mm -hmm. oh, yeah, it looks like those are my options, or our options to talk to folks. Um, maybe Trevor first. Peter. All right, bud. I've got, got you trapped. trapped. Talk, talk to me. What, what happened today? I, I saw, saw something. something. So the background is way louder than the than the game. I don't, uh, think, I don't think this was the case in the past. Then go then go to the sound mixer in the game and change the movie volume. Not the control F5 in the game. Yeah. Like the like the puzzle. But it's all the way up. Up. And change the music volume as well. Yeah, I did that too. I did that earlier. Well, one of the things that most people say when they stream the game is that the sound mix is uh, off. Yeah. Let me just try something really quick. I'm going to. Those were the 90s. Dreaming tree. I don't remember it being quiet last time, do you? Uh uh. Last week. Okay, so okay, I'm going to get out of this really quick. And then I'm going to go to game options. We go to volume. By the way, people say that the echo is back. Oh, I will take a look. Well, the only thing about that that I was able to, I thought I was able to do override global. It doesn't let you override. Never mind. Just. Crank up the volume. Yeah. And besides, the echo will double the volume either way because of the echo. Okay. Um, so let's do that. But I don't know what to do about that. I, I, so here's what I saw um, last time. What I thought was the answer was, was the uh, OBS now it didn't used to do this, but it now will put the the game in the audio mixer. And so the game is playing both through the audio mixer and the desktop audio. So I hit, uh, you know, I muted the game in the, uh, in the you know, in the, the scum game or the, the game in the audio mixer thinking that would be the answer. But James Jenkins tipped $30. Tori, do you have any memories meeting or working with Roberta Williams? 
Oh yes, I I um um she was really nice and um we just had we had fun. I'm trying to think of any specific memories. Um, what was it like when you first met her? Like where where was it? Just in an audition in a room? No, I didn't audition for her. I auditioned for Peter Maris, the director. Um, I met her after not, I didn't meet her until I went up to Bass Lake and, um, and I met her on the set, I think the first time. And, um, she was, she just it's super friendly and uh, really easy to talk to and just really nice. And I think they were, they had a house they were staying in up there. And I think we, we were over there a few times and we went out to dinner and um, yeah, the shoot, really nice. Nice. Okay. <laughs> um, all right, I'm gonna start the game again. It's gonna be loud. Uh, all right, so we, that uh, sounds not so bad. Um, more Trevor? Oh, um, I, I, about Roberta, I also just remembered that she does, she has a good sense of humor. Funny. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, let's, let's try the waiter just so we can mix things up a little bit. Well, 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 the boys are playing hooky. Shame on you. Shame is a part of all of it. Well, I must be just saying. That's a good way to get the street. See what you, when you waste a good line on a straight point. I think I may have fixed the audio because Daniel, the hint keeper, which is you, also showed up in the audio mixer. So, and you're also in the desktop audio. So hopefully that fixed it. I just muted that as well. And so now everybody's coming through desktop. Yep, I did it. Everybody's saying the echo's gone. Look at me. Yeah, good job. Fixing things. Well okay. done, Paul. Thank you. So the... Okay, all that's left is Trev. So Tori, one of the things that people talk a great deal about in this game is that for a video game in the 1990s, to have a character who was gay, who was not a stereotypical sort of, you know, uh, cartoonish type, you know, character and to have him be fun and effervescent and proud of who he is and no one making fun of him for who he is was a real uh, was a real step forward in that in that industry and that it, in many ways it hasn't caught up in some ways and so that's one of the things that people just love dearly about this this character yeah and, and if you think about how far we've come since then yeah, this that was unusual. It was, you know, it was it was we were only seeing stereotypes. You're right. Yeah. Curtis, for God's sake, I'm your best friend. You know you can talk to me, don't you? I know. I. You remember how I told you about my mother going crazy and leaving my father and I alone? Yeah. It's not true. I mean, I thought it was, but until a few days ago, I remembered that she hung herself from, from her ceiling fan. Jesus, man, it's harsh. No wonder you're so flipped out. Tough times for. That for was a her. good scene. Yeah. Good acting. <laughs> <laughs> good acting. Way to go. All right. Let's see if there's more good acting to come. I am going to see if now that I have everything. Oh, the music volume went up. All right. Okay. Let's try it again. Curtis, don't take this personally, okay? But have you thought about talking to someone? I mean, all that stuff about your mother, that's an awful lot for you to deal with alone. Yeah, I've thought about it, Trev, but I'd rather be dead. I'd rather be dead than have to go back there. Hey, nobody's talking about sending you back. Just talking about counseling, okay? 
Yeah, okay, I'll think about it. You're the only one I've told about this so far. You're not going to tell anyone, right? Of course not, fool. <laughs> Are you kidding? My, my own therapist has made me so close to perfect. I, I never tell secrets. I never tell lies. Hell, I don't even crap anymore. I just excrete rose petals from my belly button. I got a ton of stuff I got to do at work. I have enough energy. I'm going to go slog through it right now. Yeah, well, me too, come to think about it. So, what do you think? Let's get the hell out of Dodge. Let's go, Miss Kitty. Well, there was clearly no budget for, for a lunch meal in that, uh, <laughs> in that scene. Not even a glass of water. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, this is so different from, from, from my game. Yes, so it is. Yes, it is. What 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 did, what makes you say that? Well, just to see, it's 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 more grounded, you know. Yeah. Where mine was always. I don't know. Partially, I mean, it helped, does make a difference to have sets, but it's just it, it's written differently. There. It lives you know, in, a, in a different kind of just different kind of game. Totally, right? totally. All right, you want to, oh, there's, that one's open. At least it looks like it's open. That's oh. Warner's office, and this is back in the, the office office. Hmm. And that's Would you want the, to go talk to Warner? He, is he supposed to come work for him? At, I, see, my, what I've learned is that anytime something is white, you, you, you give it a let's look. Just go. Yeah, let's give it a try. And we can show him. Or, or it's locked and you can't get in and it's a, what was it called in uh, Monkey Island? The, it was a... No, the one that first... Oh, he's going back in the office. Oh, did you want to go back in the... Um, the... No, because we've already been yeah. there. Yeah. Okay, so you probably want to talk to other folks now and find out. No more water. Can't drink water, but we can talk to people. Why don't we talk to Jocelyn? Jocelyn. Okay, so uh, I think this is... No, that's me. That's Jocelyn. He hasn't told Jocelyn about the face punching him or whatever. Right. Or the... <laughs> okay, so you can't just talk to her, so it looks like we do have to show her some stuff. So what would you like to show her? Um, what What is new that we haven't... We have the Wintech card key. We have his wallet. We have the sexy postcard. Did we... Did you show that to her already? Yes. And what did we find out? Oh, okay. You know what? The sexy postcard is from, is it Therese? Yeah. It's from her. But we probably don't want to show it to Jocelyn. I think we did already. Didn't we do that, Daniel? Did we show it to her before we showed Therese? Like, oh, yeah, we show, did. And she's like, show, where did show you Show the get? postcard to, to Jocelyn. We, we so did, you did. Yeah. And she said, I didn't send this. And then yeah. Curtis said, oh, it's probably a joke. I bet you Trevor did it. And then we found out later that yeah, Therese yeah. did it. But we can show her some of these photos. Yeah, what's the one on the far right? That was a newer that's, one. That's the photograph of the parents. Oh, did we show that to her? Yeah, when she said that the um, father is sexy. Oh, right. And it was weird. <laughs> and you look like your mother. <laughs> your dad is father hot. father is sexy and you look like your mother. You look like your mom. <laughs> Have a great day, Curtis. <laughs> Uh, do we do the Christmas photo? I feel like we showed her that already, but let's try it again. I guess we did. Maybe we've already showed... What about showing her this? Nothing. Hmm. The wallet? My By the way, the game froze and did I it? froze. Oh, Daniel, I guess I, I owe you an you apology. Jinxed it. I jinxed I it. I told you. <laughs> uh, all right. Yeah, it's critical. Not, it's not that uh, you jinxed it. It's not wizardry over here. You just need to say that everything is going to um, collapse. The OBS is going to crash. Everything. These are the things that usually hold the live stream alive. It's true. <laughs> you need to say the opposite. Now, how yeah. do I get rid of How do I make you? Like, say things like there's going to be a power outage. Uh, my Mac will um, 
crash. All right, it's all working ring light. Let's see if we catch can fix fire. It. Uh, all right, it doesn't look like we can. I think we've exhausted J Jocelyn for now. So let's. let's Is this let's, still not frozen anymore? No, everything's good again for the time being. Maybe you should say some negative words, Paul. Yeah. Who should say? You, you want Daniel to say negative words to me? No, I think you need to say some negative words. I do? Daniel thinks you need to say some negative words. Like. <laughs> uh, this game. The like, whole internet's going to collapse. I did that already. I, I, did you say that? Well, I said that um, the negative <laughs> words are, I don't think we'll ever get out of this office alive. I think that this game is totally going to crash and uh, everybody, all 71 people, dang, that's a lot of people watching right now, um, are... I don't know. I got nothing to say. All right, let's just let's, let's get it. Man, that escalated quickly. I just said, you know, OBS is going to crash. Now you're killing everyone. <laughs> We're all going to die. Um, let's go see Tom. All right. So can't talk to him. Let's give him everything. Oh, that got white. That, that looks like that's... Hey, Tom. Listen, I was wondering if you knew why my clearance is so low. I can't even get to the cafeteria with my car key. You're kidding. No. Well, that can't be right. I'll look into it for you, Curtis. Right, thanks. Clearance is low. And if we could only steal one of those keys. All right, so there's that. Should we just go through all the, all the stuff? Yeah. Does that do anything? Nope. Am I going to show him that sexy postcard? Nope. <laughs> Oh, that looks Is like this from you, Tom. That looks like something. No, nope. I guess that's a nope. Didn't that look a little more white? You know, uh, plot-wise, what Curtis just said is really brilliant because he said that his clearance is so low that he can't even get into the cafeteria. We don't which have a cafeteria. Explains why Curtis is always at the driving tree instead of working. Yeah, that's good because we don't even see the cafeteria. We've never seen the cafeteria. Yeah. So there's because nothing. We don't have enough clearance. So unless Daniel tells us otherwise, there's nothing that Tom can tell us right now. Yeah. All right. Um, so, so Therese and Bob? Yeah, but I feel like we've shown them everything. But let's I, make have sure we, we done that already? That. Okay. Let's make sure we have. What's up, Bob? Yeah, nothing. Why would I show him any of this stuff? Yeah, there's nothing to show him. Okay. And so maybe we have to go back to work. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, hey, look at that. We got a scene. Jeez. Listen, about what happened in the network room today. Look, I really like you a lot, but I'm seeing somebody right now. Be quiet. But... Listen. Listen to the language of your flesh. It's telling you what to do. That's why his shirt's all messed up. <laughs> <laughs> Stop messing with my <laughs> collar, man. <laughs> That's, that totally explains why your shirt was all droopy. I think so. It probably was like... We probably had done that scene a bunch, and then we had to do the fidgeters, and by that time, the, <laughs> the, so the shirt was all messed up. MDQP sent us something. I didn't hear his, his uh, I didn't hear the widget. Let's see. MDQP said you should have brought some drain cleaner to the office. It's a great conversation <laughs> starter with coworkers. <laughs> no side effect, no positions. Your positions increased by 50%. Hey, there you go. That's a good call. Yeah. Um, all right. Bob says, have you seen my stapler? Yeah, that's right. From the, the cop of space. All right. So yeah. anything to show her? Nothing. I think we've done everything. I think you're right. I think it's time to go back to our office. Would, would, um, yeah, let's sit in front of the computer. Let's get to work. And pretend yeah. to work. Pretend? This really is work. How do I get out of here? How do I get? There we go. I'm negotiating the the cubicles a lot better this time around. All right. 
Let's sit down. They kept By the way, it. I don't know if you've seen Moffat Reborn's uh, uh, message from earlier. He said, I will tip $100 if Tori can find the Sierra office Easter egg on the game map on the first try. Wait a minute. Small clicks everywhere. The, the Sierra office. On the map? Wait, wait. Oh, it's on yeah, the map? On, on, on the map, the location in which we were supposed to click in our live stream to see the Easter egg summary page, summary screen, basically, um, is a very specific location on the map. And that specific location is the location of the Sierra building. Now, we weren't able to do it. If you recall, we tried clicking everywhere, but uh, didn't manage to click it. And Moffitt uh, is certain that Tori can. Okay, so this is the map, Tori. And this is the greater Seattle area back in 1995 oh, or so six. I need to find, need to find the um, Sierra Online up. Moffitt Reborn, is there, a, if we have a hard time. Let me get closer. What, what if, uh, I don't know if I can. I think you have to. So what, just tell us the area that you think it might be in. Like I said, up, you know, where would you say? You can just kind of tell me up, down. Oh, there's, oh, that's just where we are. So it doesn't turn white, right? It just means. Can you yeah, read any the names of the. I can't actually. I can't see. They're all, it's all a big mess. Bellevue, uh, Southeast Lake something, Union, um, 15th Avenue. Oh, I don't know. 200th Street. Is it in Bellevue? Bellevue is across the way. Um, I think this is a this is a fool's errand we've been put on here. Um, I don't think it's. But if we click on it, where do you it want? Where do you right? want me to click? We'll just up here, down here, over here, around this way. Um, in the lower left. Around this area? Or like, all the... Uh, yeah, over we're right there. Right here? So if yeah, I just why... share, why not? I, I have no idea. I mean, <laughs> why would she know? <laughs> I think this is impossible. Wanna, you, you, you created okay, it Moffitt, possible. No, Moffitt said that I can guide you. Okay, good. Let's Moffitt's give it a try. All right. First oh. of all, you can't use it on the map when you open it from the office. You need to leave the office. Okay, wow, really? Oh. We're leaving the office? We'll okay. give it a try. We'll give it a try. If that doesn't work. Um, How come I can't get out of here? Uh, can. Go. Okay. There we go. All right. Door acting. And now I can go here, yeah? You don't have to leave? No, stop clicking the map. Leave the office. All right, all right. Curtis okay. walks a little faster than uh, now, the Now, there, there are two roads that lead to the bottom of the map. Two. You see those roads? This is a road right here that goes to the yeah. bottom. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, and there. this one here. Between, no, 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 no. The one you were before. Okay. Go down. Uh-huh. Now, go down. Place the, the center of the cursor on the border of the map itself like there yeah and place the cursor exactly between the two ro roads you see that there's a road on the left you're currently pointing at one road right here yeah that's now um lower the cursor a bit so that it will be exactly in the center that's it now try to click that 10 times without moving the mouse <laughs> so don't move the cursor 10 times or Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Dang it. Maybe down a little farther. Yeah, we tried this last time and it never worked. Quick, faster. I was in the general oh. area. Yes. Oh. What happened? Moffitt. You activated the Easter egg summary screen. We have scored 30 points out of a maximum of 480 points. Need some help? Try tech support.
This is the first time we did this. We did it. Sorry, you, you're our good luck charm here because we tried oh. it for like 12 uh. episodes. But they don't see it. It got frozen. Let me see. Don't don't go yeah. anywhere. Let me see. Daniel's not frozen. And Daniel's frozen too. Okay. I'll unfreeze Daniel. All right. You're back. And now I want you guys to see it. Oh, man. I think you guys broke the game. <laughs> man, this was the pivotal moment of the live stream. It was. But we did it. Look, there it is. There it is. It's okay. What do we do now? Exit? No, we wait until Moffat Reborn uh, accepts defeat and <laughs> sees that we have succeeded in uh, accessing the Easter egg summary screen. We're just going to wait. We're just going to sit here. No, we're not. We're going to play. All right, let's get out of here. Yeah, keep playing. Fun. Let's go back to WinTech and get to work. This is what people do at work. They do whatever they can not to work. Mm -hmm. The game okay. froze again. Oh. Well, I, I don't, I refuse to believe that I jinxed it. I'm convinced that it's would have happened one way or the other. All right, let me move some things around here, see if the display capture will work better. Okay. No, it's frozen again. No, it's not. No, it's working now, but we'll see how long. I'm frozen. Okay. Oh, you're frozen again. Well, maybe I'll... If it's just me, then it's fine. All right, All right let's see. Okay, good. At least I'm learning how to fix it quickly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, we got to get to work. So we have. Do we call everybody? Do we need to? Call? Remember we. Look, at the, is that the list of? Yeah, these are our, our workmates. We did call a few people. Um, do you want to call some folks or do you want to get to work on the computer? Um, PAW is Paul Allen Warner. That's the boss. Oh, the boss. That's what oh, and here's a funny thing we found out too, uh, Tori. Curtis spelled Jocelyn's name wrong. Her name is actually with an I. It's not an E. Oh. That just tells you how much he, he truly loves her. <laughs> Doesn't even know how to spell her name. Um, if we could, well, we could ask um, Mr. Warner about Aaron's card, or we can. All right, let's do it. Let's call Mr. Warner. No. Six nine nine two. Oh, Moffat Reborn! I see something coming in. Moffat hey. Reborn tipped one hundred dollars. I'll give it to you. Congratulations, even though I distinctly heard Paul count to 10 then had a disappointed look on his face before he did it. So this first try will have a next to it in the record books. <laughs> Not a nest, we didn't get asterisk. <laughs> thank you, Moffat Reborn. And and thank you, uh, I think it was MDQP too that, that, that I didn't get a chance to say thank you to. But yeah, awesome. Thank you so much. That was really sweet. And you, you made us do something that we weren't able to do when Daniel and I played this game last year it just it wasn't working so we all we needed was a no you, you a just financial click too slow last reward. year oh, see he's always You're clicking blame faster me. nowadays he just blames me it's always my fault all right i'm gonna do this fast look at that that's some fast dialing we get his voicemail they did have voicemail back then right uh, game's frozen. I'd better let her work. Oh, that was a game's frozen again. Oh yep. boy. So we have to do some major house cleaning on OBS and figure out what's the deal. And you're frozen too. And so Daniel, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna yeah, get, remove me. I'm gonna remove the hint keeper from. I'm gonna get rid of that. 
Okay. And let's see if that does anything. Uh, what was the... 6996, okay. By the way, Tori, you know you can call yourself in the game. Oh, we should try that. Uh, what is... What Critical is our... moment tipped five dollars. Ring ring, I'd like to talk to you about your car's extended warranty. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank um, you, Critical Moment. What's our number? Uh, what? Yeah, it's called, Curtis will call himself, 6100. Can't call myself. All right, I think they're telling us we have to work. I think yeah. we can't, we can't. We We're can't. not doing phone calls right now. Yeah. Can we see some of that stuff on the bulletin board right there? Is there anything to look at? <laughs> we'll do anything to not oh. work, won't we? <laughs> Wait, there was a, it, right, what's that? That, that's, that's just the computer. All right, it looks like we're working. So these are, so this is where I'm more than, oh, what did that happen? Something just happened. Look at this archive thing here. I just made a funky little, we'll do it again. I bet you we should, I think it was a, kill them all. Oh, Bob A says Ooh. kill them all. That was crazy. That was crazy. So the, that, the, it's coming soon. So let's check Bob. Hey, it seems like there's something going on here. Venom and document. Uh, foreign documentation compiled and reconstructed by Bob Arnold. This is where... No, the Venom and document should be in your folder. Oh, well then why... So this is this like a red herring? All these little kill them all stuff? Yeah, yeah. Okay. You're losing it. Huh? You're losing it little by little. In I, the I'm, game. Right. Okay, gotcha. So should we so why don't you maybe guide us a little bit, invisible hint keeper? Okay, so first of all you go to the computer and click the, the venom in document. Okay. Should we read some of the the emails? Oh, don't do you can that. read some of the emails. So, if we click, go to Curtis's folder. Curtis's folder. Okay. Venom and Sagawa. Oh. We have a puzzle. We have a puzzle. Okay, Tori. You're on your own here. See what you. What do you think it's trying to tell us, and what do we need to do? Unscramble. Yeah. But not settling on letters. Hmm. I think that if I were to. If I click on any one of these, it'll stop. Uh, it'll stop like individually. Um, so. You just have to guess what the word is. I think so. It's a six letter word. Six letter word. Yeah. So like in curdle. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um, now it's been a number of weeks before she played. So what, what's a good hint that, uh, Well, since well, the only click, person wait, 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 let her come. Click on C. C and the, for the for the first one. Yeah. And then U for the second one. Oh, you're thinking his name? Okay. Yeah. So click on R so. T the Godfit super chatted two dollars and four cents. <laughs> Thanks and check out kofi.com slash cwc. Wait, there is a scene on the mirror on the house. A scene on the mirror. Oh, we have to go to the house. Thank you, God Pat. Oh, oh no, no, I screwed up. Can I? Okay. There we go. Now, now okay, the thing is work. that that uh, the version that uh, Paul has currently on his computer has a problem with the voiceovers. Now, when you um, try. Uh, on your first try to complete the word, like you just did, then you hear a voiceover by Bob saying, "Forget it, rat boy." That's what nor that's what comes up. Oh, so Bob yeah. is yeah, Bob. The word is wrong. So the word is wrong. How do so I? The word is wrong, and uh, you hear Bob saying, "Forget it, rat boy," when the word is wrong. So 
So what's the right word? All right, so let's try it again. Um, let me think. Rat boy. <laughs> That's two words. Um, yeah, let's try it. Let's try it. <laughs> okay. I just I'm, I'm oh, oh crap. Go back. Okay, there we go. Ooh. You did it, well, Tori. You solved that puzzle. You got us in. <laughs> <laughs> nice work. How many of you did? Did you all get I think that? That was a little subtle. That was a little hint that came from Daniel. <laughs> there was a little hint that came from Daniel. But is that true though? Is that what it says? It says. Yeah, it, it, you know, you have the text on appear on screen instead of the voiceover. Now I think that for the next uh, next uh, live stream I'll give you the the fixed version because the first version of the game came without the the voiceover. Mm -hmm. And so there was a problem with the uh, voiceover. Well, did most and... of you, I'm curious to hear everybody who's who knows this game, did you all catch it right away when Bob said, you know, forget it, Rat Boy? Did, did, was that like the obvious thing or did that kind of go past your, uh, they go over your head and, and you kept looking for other clues? Um, what did you think? What about you, Daniel? Do you remember getting it right away? I didn't get it right away, but I think that um, after a few conversations with uh, Bob and the fact that you realized that Bob was the one that locked her computer, mm -hmm. then it was the that and Curtis. I think that everyone tries Curtis because it's a six letter word. Yeah. Deal right says he got it on the first try. Ray said he had watched a playthrough, so he knew what it was. MDQP says if this was made in Japan, it would be Catboy. <laughs> um, yeah, it passed me when I was a kid, says Johan. So yeah, I think I'll... Um, all right, so we we know that the Venomon document is really bad. I mean, it's a anti-inflammatory drug that does all kinds of horrible things to people. Is there anything else we need to know about this before we Click move it on? to read it. Click it to read it. Oh. Oh. Great. Let me get out of here. What? Yep. Get out of here. Work day is over. You did we so much work today. We didn't read we didn't do any work. We didn't read any emails. We didn't Should we read some emails? I guess we can't even do that now. Your work day is over. Well, okay, Curtis. but I understand, but isn't part of the joy to read some of the fun emails and the reply to them and stuff? Alright, I guess I'm gonna go. We have to wait till tomorrow. Yeah, okay. <laughs> the emails will wait. The emails will wait. Okay, how do I... Do we want to say goodbye to people? Let's say goodbye to people as we go. Oh, everybody's gone. The only thing is that people have left without saying goodbye to you. Wow. That's really kind of uncool. Ah. I wonder where they all went. Mm. Yeah. They all went home. All right. We get them. So can we look at the map? Is there another place? Where should we go? We could go. Where do people in this game go, usually? Is there a bar they all hang out after work? Aha. Uh -huh. Let's take a look at the map and see. Dreaming tree, Dreaming tree. or Is home. There? All right. We got menus this time. They have a budget for menus. Hi, yourself. So, will it be the usual today, sir and madame? A jalapeno and honey grilled cheese sandwich for him and... Jalapeno and honey? <laughs> you know, I'm not all that hungry. No, me neither. Wait, he hasn't eaten lunch? Those uh, double chocolate little things, small for yours. Ah, too bad, boss. He's very uh, Christian Slatery. Yeah. Okay, so they're not hungry. Oh, they got their malts already, though. Hmm. Um, all right, so we got one option. We have one option. We got That's one option. Hi, right. <clears throat> sweetie. How was your day? Uh, pretty much sucked. Wait. <laughs> Inconsistency. This is our second one. I want to We've had two. There for you. I want to help you when you're feeling bad. 
You just mean so much to me. You mean to me, Jazz? I know. It's. I just wish. I wish I could be there all the time. That's all. Aww. Okay, so she wants more. And he wants less. And he wants less. Well, he doesn't seem like he wants that less, that much less. Um, oh, we got a, we got a waiter wait, now. Wait a second. Before, before you click on, on the waiter, I have to understand why in the FMV scenes, the video scenes, uh, the waiter has blue jeans and in the fidgeters, he has khaki pants. Is that true? What happened? Yeah, it is true. You see, he There's has khaki, khaki pants. pants. Now, I need to understand if you guys filmed the entire game. And then when you filmed the fidgeters, uh, you understood that he can't wear blue jeans because the fidgeters were done in front of a blue screen. So he had to change his pants after he filmed the entire game. I th I'm sure that's it. I, 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 re I distinctly remember the fidgeters we didn't do them along as we were filming because they were all on sets. So it was all done at the end of the shoot when things were chaotic and the money had run out and we had very little time to do everything. So that makes sense that they must have brought him in for the day and had a, a oh shit moment and said, oh no, he, we can't do that. So they, they changed the pants. That's the only thing. That okay, so could now you see the khaki pants. Now click him and you'll see that he has blue jeans. Oh, yeah. Well, love birds, no, aren't they cute? You'll see the blue jeans okay. when he turns around. What for? Why are you always trying to hide this gorgeous lady, Curtis? And if I was you, I'd follow her around with a spotlight. <laughs> jeans. Blue jeans. Yeah, jeans. Yeah. yeah, I think we did our fidgeters. <laughs> we were filming. We did our fidgeters. <laughs> <laughs> we did our fidgeters like. I think that we would shoot a scene and then I think sometimes we'd do some fidgets. So are you saying that your fidgeters were better than ours? Is that what you're saying? Our fidgeters were more organic. I think. <laughs> they were more in the, they were in the moment. Exactly. They were not at all. They were, yours are, you can sit down and most of my fidgets were, well, some of my fidgets were sitting down, but I didn't do that. I should have done more fidgets. Yeah. There was a lot of you standing like this waiting to be moved, you know. Yeah, they learned a lot. You 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 paved the way, Tori, for 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 us and and we thank you for that. Oh, no problem. <laughs> right, they they didn't learn enough in terms of pants. <laughs> no, we, they they still had some some pants work to do. Um, okay, yeah. so we talked to the waiter. I think we can still talk to our girlfriend. Because I had one pair of pants <laughs> the whole entire shoot. <laughs> I think I had three or four, and I know I had half a dozen t-shirts. So again, we learned. Curtis. Didn't we just have this conversation? I know when we started seeing each other, we said it was just for fun. No commitments. And, and I meant it, too. I really did. I just... Well, sometimes things change. Curtis, you have to say something. Say something back. Now, I'm not nice. trying to smother you or anything. I just want to be with you. I just... I just want to be with you. I like you, too. I... I, I think we have to talk to, we have to have a conversation. <laughs> I, I think you're swell. I'm not gonna say anything. Nothing, look at him. What a fear of commitment kind of <laughs> dude. Not cool, Curtis. Um, all right, we got one more scene out of this. Okay, so here we go. Jess, do you remember that night we went to the park? <laughs> oh God, it was so hot. We brought a loaf of stale bread to give to the ducks. <laughs> and they all I came. Know, <laughs> I never knew there could be so many ducks in one <laughs> pond. And you, you ran from them. Oh, they were going to eat me. <laughs> the infamous duck we, scene. Uh, got rid of them? <laughs> of course I do. It's 
speaking of eating. <laughs> it was so hot and your skin was so slippery. We found the dark spot underneath that tree. You had to stop moving. The music is sexy too. <laughs> and you, you made those sounds, those sexy whimpers. But you couldn't stand it. Wait, he was still talking. Kill that slut. Kill her like you killed your mother. That's why they hired me, because I could be in two places at once. I had the ability. <laughs> wow. All right, well, what, what did well, you learn you're currently, there? You're currently in three places at once. That's true. You're in the yeah. last stream and again <laughs> twice. <laughs> All right, so what do you make of that, Ms. Marcel? Um, he's either well, he's either hallucinating, or he has a doppelganger. <laughs> um, um, demon. <laughs> <laughs> doppelganger demon. That's what they should have called this. Phantasmagoria doppelganger demon. Um, I agree. I think that was the answer. Um, what else did we learn? Oh, I like that. I've always loved that camera angle. And I remember doing that with that, you know, you're one side of her head and then the camera moved as, as yeah, he's yeah, like, I like that. I thought that was really cool. Yeah, it's, it's when you watch the, you know, for anybody watching right now that didn't watch our earlier playthrough, one of the things that I always appreciated about this was the, the camera movement, the, the people that they hired to do the their young uh, at the time, very young, uh, right out of school, film school students, and they were just really talented. And and early on, all the the uh, cinematography is really wonderful, and the lighting is really wonderful. And as the game went on, and as the budget got, <laughs> as the budget just completely <laughs> went away, then they just started just putting the camera in one spot and just getting through scenes. But early on, as you watch some of this, uh, these scenes you can see just how uh, how good the cinematography is and how, how wonderfully they, they did it. Or they were getting tired. <laughs> no, I think that they were like kids in a candy shop and they were just, they were having so, they were just geeking out so much that it ultimately took up a lot of time. And then the producers were looking and going, oh my gosh, we have three more months to film and we, we've only gotten through the first 20 pages. So I think that they, they ended up well, the person who was in them. charge of the cinematography was Matt Jensen, and this was his first gig. Yeah. And then he went on to work on things like Game of Thrones and in Wonder Woman 1984 yeah. Yeah. and The Mandalorian. Yeah, I almost got him for an interview, and uh, he respectfully declined. Apparently, there was uh, a lawsuit. Uh, uh, I don't know the details, but uh, he and the crew, uh, there was there was some <laughs> there was some they sued drama. Sierra? Yeah. I see it's here, and I don't know exactly what it was, what or why, but well, uh, let's bring him on. I know, I know. I'd love to get him on. All right, let's let's click on Jocelyn. She's looking. Either she has, either she's got a, a rash, or she's wanting us to click on her. Curtis, are you all right? Yeah, I'm, <clears throat> I'm sorry, Jess. I'm not. I'm not feeling very well right now. Oh, baby. Do you want me to come over tonight? You make you feel better. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, that sounds nice. Let's get out of here, okay? Whatever you say. <laughs> Tony Perkins Perkins says, Waiter is a spy sent from Wintech to keep an eye on the employees. <laughs> I've always thought that Jocelyn was was a spy sent from the Dimension X to keep uh, keep an eye on Curtis. Um, that's my theory. Okay, so how do we? Oh, what do we do? What do we do? How do have we you get played, Have you played the whole? You played it all the way through, right? This game? Yeah. Yeah, I did. Daniel and I played it last year, and I do remember now how to get out of here. But I'm going to let you. I'll tell you right now that there's no hot spots and we're supposed to leave we the map will the map get us i think 
Daniel no, said that you have, to, you have to get up and get out before. No, that, that was for the summary of the Easter egg screen. Oh yeah, I can't use the In map. In this either. case, it's supposed to work, but you can't leave because you need to do something. Okay. So. Okay. Um, well, let's pick, let's look. Can we move the cursor? Does it have to be something in our? Probably. We've shown her everything, right? Well, we're in a different spot. We're we're in a, we're in the restaurant now, and we're also trying to leave the restaurant. Would he tell her that Therese? Would he give her show her that sexy picture again? To like finally say to her, look, uh, our other. <laughs> Let's see. No, it didn't work. I'm not going to. I'm not going to confess, Jocelyn. I'm not going to confess. Confess my. Uh... I know. I just was like, that'd be kind of fun. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, Jocelyn. Um, I got this postcard. I know you want to come home with me. I'm just wondering if we could invite Teresa over too. <laughs> um. Nothing else that would work on her. Uh. Well, what should I do? We want to try. Well, let's try uh, the Wintech card key, maybe. Okay. All right. Nope. And we, okay, we've looked all around, too. There's nothing that we can click on in, in the room. Well, we are, so what do we got here? We have Jocelyn, the waiter. We got Curtis, the milkshakes. We got the bill. We got the, the menu, salt shaker and all that stuff. Um, and we're trying to leave the restaurant. What do you need to do to leave a restaurant? Uh, you need to stand up. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you do. I can't get him to stand up, though. Okay, wait. Let's look at the inventory one more time. Okay. Um, I don't think what? I was able to do this either. Uh, what's the, what are the next photo? Oh, did you, did you try the wallet? Try the wallet? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, there we go. Yep, check. Pay the bill. Pay the bill. How many of you all got stuck waiting for that one? That must have been. I just wasn't thinking in terms of playing. I don't think any of us were. On an object. Good luck, Curtis. If you ever have any more okay, we had, trouble. Look at us outside. Call this lady. She's one look of at the my best. cool jean jacket, Tori. Hey. I got a second costume change. Ah, back to the t-shirt. To wear a jacket. <laughs> I fought for that jacket. I don't know why it's such an ugly jacket. I don't think it was even mine. I think it was a, a cool denim jacket suit. over the orange sweater. That, that <laughs> denim jacket would be worth a fortune right now. For it would. Oh, yeah? See, so, so look at the camera you angle here. Oh, that is cute, Josh. Oh, don't I know it? So. Tori, I, I, as we spared you the, the, uh, is there I don't a sex know. Scene coming? <laughs> there is a sex scene coming, but we had to turn it on. We won't see it because no one, it wouldn't play. Uh, YouTube would tag it. So, uh, so you'll see the very beginning and then it'll, it'll go to the, to the next morning. Yeah, we uh, activated the censorship mode in the game. All right. Although it's pretty, it's actually not very steamy at all, but there is a little bit of skin, uh, and I think that's all it took to to uh, to censor it. All right, let's see what happens next here. Oh, the music playing, or the the rain in the background. What are you thinking about? Yes. <laughs> Take off your fake glasses and kiss me. I love you. And he doesn't say it again. So you missed the steamy sex scene. It's the next, I guess it's next morning. But It's even worse. She's invisible. <laughs> she should get that checked out. Yeah, look at all the sweat on his brow there. Look what happened. 
Ooh, we have a cutscene. He's got his jacket Say on. Say goodbye to your hard drive, asshole. <laughs> Good angle. See, look at these cool angles. I mean, they, they, it's really yeah. cool the way they... The blood on the... Wait, wait, whose blood was that? Oh, he's yeah. the killer. Is he the killer? I still don't know if he's the killer or not. After all these years. That's it? Um, what, you, what? Do, you do remember that there is a person in this live stream that hasn't played the game, so you should stop spoiling. Well, I don't know. I'm telling you, I don't know. I don't know. I honestly do not know who... Maybe okay. Tori will be able to... Wait, should we save? Do we need to... F... Let's we save. We need to save and then quit the game and then okay. uh, disable the sensor, uh, the censorship mode. Okay. And... Uh, um, I'm, I'm a little confused because... We all are. Yeah, ask your questions. We we can help. Okay, you. well, first of all, we can. oh, I need to. Just, okay, now I'm gonna get out of we here. We were just seeing Bob's point of view, so you don't you don't have that in my game. It's right. It's always it's always you know, Adrian's. No, actually, there is a scene I think with um, Harriet and Cyrus that Adrian doesn't see. Maybe isn't there? I can't remember. Yeah, I think so. I think there are. Okay, so that does happen. Okay, so it just threw me off. So he was in bed, and then she was gone, and then we're suddenly we see Bob, and then he's there's blood on the towel. Right. Yeah. So yeah, let's get. Let, so yeah. So, so where they is she? they have a night of passion together, which we had to cut, and then he's watching her as she sleeps, and then he pulls. What is it? Intestines out of her belly? Is that what it yeah, was? I, th I, th I thought he was just dreaming. So it's probably he was dreaming and then she was mm -hmm. gone. Mm -hmm. And then he has a bloody towel. And then so, but we also see that Bob looked like he heard something at the office when he was about to to wipe his hard drive. Right. So they're wanting us to wonder, was it a dream or not a dream? I think. Yeah. But um, all right. I think we're intentionally supposed to be wondering what's going on yeah what's real what's not yeah all right let's see what happens are we at a different chapter yet are we still in this first chapter or yeah that was the intro for chapter two okay but it didn't say chapter two it didn't say anything yeah because back in the day you would have known that you unlike phantasmagoria one which told you that the chapter is finished and then you click continue over here in this game uh, it would just ask you for the second CD or the third CD, and then you'd know that you uh, yeah to the next chapter. Um, um, and Moffat, I think some people are asking about the censored version. We're only playing the censored version to so we could um, uh, avoid uh, the YouTube, uh, you know, censors when people watch the um, the recording of this. Although that said. Tell me if I'm wrong, but the one we did last year is we did the we did the full yeah scene. we did the uncensored ones and Let's it's leave it at that and it's still on there I don't think that YouTube found it so anyways if you want to watch it last year you can watch that one okay let's get back to what's... don't watch that episode no <laughs> why is it bad I don't remember uh, okay well, we're back at I, home you got you got Ragna on that episode so it was the three of us watching that scene oh well, that was yeah okay. Um, all right, you want to look? Oh, see that episode will become the most viewed episode yeah, ever right. on conversation. Yeah, <laughs> maybe we, watch. yeah, <laughs> we can we can excise that scene and just put it on YouTube. Um, do you want to check out the apartment, or you want to go look at some stuff? What do you want to do? Uh, let's check the apartment. Let's okay. check on our rat. Let's check on the rat. Blob, right? Yeah. Hey, Miss Blob. Hey, pretty girl. Yeah, you're the prettiest rat in the world, aren't you? All right, just don't get cocky, huh? Per, per, clearly, uh, Blob was not uh, available to be on set that day. Uh, yeah, clearly. <laughs> uh, the game is frozen. Oh. Is it? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, well, it's doing good for a while there. All right, and we're back. Uh, 
he didn't miss much. He was talking to Blob, and Blob, we couldn't see Blob. Blob was, but he told her not to get cocky. We can't. Can he, can he call Jocelyn to make sure she's okay? Or what? check it out. That's a good. That, that's very. It doesn't seem like Curtis seems to. Can we make a phone call? Nope, can't make a phone call. Hmm. Is there stuff we can? Oh, you want to look at our inventory? Yeah, wait, what's that first thing? That, oh, I forget what that is. Oh, the business card. Dr. Ricky Harburg, PhD, psychiatrist. Can we, can we go see this person or contact this person? You want to try, to, to, you want to, try to call her? Hey, look at that. Wow, Tori. Just, well, well done. Thank you. Oh, that would be great if all of his inventory was in his t-shirt pocket. I mean, if he grabbed this, if he grabbed this screwdriver out of there and the... Hi, uh, my name's Curtis Craig and I was referred to uh, Dr. Harburg by um, somebody and I was uh, wondering if I could make an appointment. That never happens. Okay, Only in video games. Daniel, did you geek out and find out who the voice of that person on the other line is? Do we know who that person is? Probably a Sierra employee, no, but I'm... now that you mention it, I'll, I'll look into it. <laughs> I have this magic. I'm surprised you haven't by now. All right, so we got an appointment with the psychiatrist. Mm -hmm. uh, I wonder how we get there, but we probably have to wait. Um, oh, yeah, because she said that it's, it's 5.30. Yeah. Oh, right. okay. So this there's this morning time. Um, what else? Anything you want us to see in here, Daniel, before we, it's always, mm. it was always weird to me that they created this, uh, little kitchen nook and we never used it. Uh, well, unlike Phantasmagoria one where Adrian could open the fridge and eat out of the imaginary fridge. Yeah. I never got my own fridge. Curtis doesn't eat. You, you, I know. I'm, I'm, uh, yeah, I, I'm not, it just seems like I don't eat anything but ice cream at this point. Um, um, but what about checking out the bedroom? Yeah. Oh, there's the mirror. Yeah, let's check the mirror. Let's uh, check the mirror. He can confront himself. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I don't remember doing that. <laughs> yeah, that, that's that's that'll do it. Academy Award nominated. Yeah, there <laughs> just looks in the mirror. That's good. I want to try this. Um, Is there anything more yeah, to get in here? Something's lighting up. Like we already got the stuff out of there. Is there you you else? always said that you love your posture in this scene. I said that. Yeah. Okay, let's take a look at my posture. See, the good thing about not having a good memory is I, everything's new. We we can redo the entire live stream right here. I think my posture is okay. I didn't like it here. That's not too bad. No, you you like this yeah. posture. Yeah, yeah. I, the I, rest I, of the game, you I said agree. that you're, you're slouching or yeah. Well, this... There are some times when I'm really slouching in my game. I'm like, why don't you sit up? <laughs> <laughs> totally. I just did it instinctually. Like, so. But yeah. Somebody tell me to sit up. This yeah. Great. Yeah. This is good. This is good posture, everyone. Try to emulate this. Don't emulate the rest. And, and don't and emulate that. The mouth. Yeah. Don't do that. That's not good posture. You look a little tense, though. I know. Well, I think I'm like, come on, get on with the game. Get me out of this house. Stop talking about my posture. I can't think you can tell. I think that somewhere subliminally, subliminally, I knew that you guys were all going to be talking about me, and that's why I have this attitude of like. <laughs> whatever all right what should we do now yeah i'm sure that in 1996 he said uh, oh man in 25 years people are gonna watch this <laughs> i thought in 1996 live this was on the internet i never i thought this would have been just dumpster dived a long time ago oh that i just want... could not even think in terms of 25 years from from then right exactly we got a door and we got a mailbox what do you think um, let's check the mail. 
I don't see anything in there. Oh, but there is something in there. Did you ever have a mailbox like that? I've never had a mailbox like that. Me neither. No. It's pretty, pretty cool, though. All right. Oh, so do we want to... What's this? Today's mail. Wait, so what? Your mailbox is outside or the uh, letters just fall, fall on the floor? Mine's outside. But like when you... But back when you were apartment living, did you... How did... Uh, did you... Just have like the the you know the big box downstairs and all that. Yes, I did. I feel like I had one where you could just push it through oh, the wall, a hole in the wall, like a slot in the wall, and it would go in. I didn't land on the floor. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So we got mail, but I don't know how to look at it. So there's that. But so Tori, you try to tell me what to do to. Uh, um, and we got looks like bills. Do we? Can we put the mail uh, under the light? I don't know. On some... Is that is that lighting up? Um, no, on the table, the coffee table. No. Oh, do uh, I give it up to him? Oh, look at that. Yeah. There we go. That's, that was too obvious. That was too <laughs> obvious, yeah. <clears throat> Thinking of you. Lips and kisses. P. The Godfit Super chatted two dollars and four cents. Thanks and check out Kofi.com slash CWC. Daniel, don't forget the Homer Simpson Easter egg. Smiley face. Thank you, God, Fett. Um, seems like the, the sound got a little wonky again. Yeah, did he say uh, whips and kisses? Tea? Yeah, he did, tea. yeah. So who's tea? Therese, right? Yeah, I think so. Or it could be Tom. It could be Trevor. Yeah. A lot of teas. Could be, oh, uh, could yeah. be. Uh, <laughs> I'm kidding. Whips and whips and kisses. I'm pretty sure it's a. Uh, uh, Actually, it's interesting writing by by uh, Laurel I. Shannon. You know, usually they say that in order to make uh, the characters more distinct, each character name needs to start with a different letter. But in this game, you have three characters starting with a T, and you even have a Bob and a Blob in the mm -hmm. game. No, that it is interesting. Yeah, it was. Um, she did it on purpose, I'm sure. Now, can I turn the music down now and keep the other stuff? The music's up. Okay, I'm hoping that that will help. Okay. Um, was there more mail? Is that all the mail we can? Oh, what's that? The greeting card. That's the card. Yeah. Oh my goodness! Look at that little bondagey stuff there. Thinking of you, whips and kisses. Okay. Okay. Well, what do I do now? Since Godfed super chatted, then go to the uh, go to the scene where your posture is the best. Oh, back in that little spot. Okay. Oh. All right. Now, hold control. No, go to that scene. Yeah. Hold control and click on the door six times. Hold control. Click on the door six, three times. Six times. Yeah. And then hold Alt and click on the door six times. Okay, now I open click the, door. the door. I'm whizzing with the door open, and I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm whizzing with the door open. Now, now this Easter egg is interesting because they made it as a reference to the Easter egg, the bathroom Easter egg from Phantasmagoria One. Oh right! Oh yeah! Yeah, there are the funny scenes and sounds from your bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, Godfet. That was fun. Uh, do we? Looks like there's not much more to do here. Should we go to work? Yeah, we do. Yeah, let's go to work. Homer the heretic. By the way, you guys are looking too much into uh, where Jocelyn is or where she left. She's a better employee than Curtis. She got up. She went work. to work. Curtis work. stayed at home. She could have woke him up. Said, yeah, Honey. she got up early and yeah, she she could have said, "Hey, you're gonna be late." I mean, she's saying she wants to be more 
you know, of a commitment. And then here she is just leaving in the middle of the night. I mean, mm -hmm. oh, let's go check out Dr. Harburg's office. Where do you want to go? I'm, I'm, I'm... You need to go to work first because it's not his appointment's not till 530. OK, well done. Right. Well done. Sorry. Well done. Can we get a cup of coffee at the Dreaming Tree? You want to go to work. All right, fine. <laughs> Thanks for your cooperation, folks. I know this hasn't been easy. Detective oh my Powell God, will contact you if we have any more questions. There's been a murder. Maybe the bathroom's closed. So, so what, is, what, what makes you think that's the case? Is it the music? Is it them all feel, looking yeah. very upset? They all look upset. The po and, and a policeman. And, and there was that policeman and there's there's tense music. <laughs> <laughs> You're good. You're good, Hemmingson. You are something else. All right. What, who do we talk to first? Um, wanna, Joss. Talk to Joss. Joss. Hey, Joss, why'd you leave so early this morning? I was just pulling out some intestines from your guts. <laughs> Oh my goodness, Curtis. Can't even. It's like, Look, I know you are distressed because there's a murder, but please don't try to hug me in front of all of our. Don't in front of the others. <laughs> please. I told you we need to keep this secret. <laughs> Above all things, Trevor or Therese? Uh, Trevor. Okay. What the hell happened? Oh, we got some. I got here early, and I, I went into your cube to see if you were in yet, and Bob... Horsehead? Uh, Bob was there. Uh-oh. Oh, God. Show him the sexy postcard. Show Bob. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's Zen Solipsist. You, you stole his, his joke. That's a good one. I wasn't expecting everyone to react this way to a sexy postcard from Tom. <laughs> All right, let's go talk to Therese. Maybe she can tell us what's going on. Therese, what's going on here? It looks like someone got pretty sick of Bob. I'm pretty sick of Bob, she said. Pretty sick of Bob. Okay, so. All right, so what do we want to do? Want to well, go? So in in his office? Go to Bob's, Bob's office? office? All right, let's check it out. An active crime scene, sir. I'm going to have to ask you to stay out of the area. I remember that guy. I wonder what he's doing now. He was the he was one of the camera operators, I think, but he was definitely oh, really? part of the crew. Yeah. Uh, all right, so we can't go in there. What if he, let's go into, oh, is that their office? That this is Mr. To? Warner's office, and that's that uh Closet where we were trees. Ty Warner's office. Okay, that's yes, the same guy. How's how can he be in two uh, places? No, that's a different guy. Is it? Yeah, hmm. that's the guy I was I'm thinking sure. of. That's been taken care of. He looks like he's about yeah. sixteen. Yeah, he totally was. Yeah, <laughs> straight out of the academy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what do I do? Okay, he's there. I can't click on him. Hmm. I can't click on anything. What's that on the ground? There's a white thing on the Ooh, ground. Oh, good job. I didn't even notice Well that. done. What do I do? Just click on it. Oh, do I have it now? Oh, I Should... think he has it. Yeah. Infection, revelation. Desecration. Desecration. All right. I guess I shouldn't be reading this while I'm in the office. But let's... Okay, so I guess I have to... What do you think? Get out of here? Yeah. This, oh, so we can't get in. He can't get into his office right now, can he? Well, this way, the only this, this is his office. Yeah. This is no. Warner's, I mean, Curtis's office. Well, this is the door from Mr. Warner's office into the into, into the, the main area. Yeah. Oh, so he is in there. Okay. For some reason, I thought they were in the that he couldn't get to the puppies. The cute. The cute yeah, he balls. snuck past him. So I think he should check his. Ooh, oh, okay, now we're getting something. Ooh.
Okay. <laughs> that. How? <laughs> this is more intense than like hey most movies in case you didn't work. know this is an it's active crime intense, scene yeah. back off and then look at the i love this guy right out of the 1940s here yeah yeah <laughs> what's your name sir what's your <laughs> There's Tom. Let's that your cubicle? Yeah. Detective Alley Powell. I'd like to ask you a few questions. Okay, lots to lots to unpack here, Tori. Mm-hmm. What, what do you got? Well, um, what oh, was your relationship shoot. to Not a lot to unpack. If you don't click, it starts the scene. Oh, I'm just my coworker. I was hoping we had time. Do you like Bob Arnold? Okay, I'm going to stop this for a second. So I want to let, let's unpack. So Curtis came through. Oh, and one thing that anybody who's watching this that hasn't watched my interview with uh, Don Berg, who played Bob Arnold, uh, he shared with us. Um, you know, there's a moment where he his he gets thrown up against the wall, and and you see this sort of goo coming out of his mouth. Well, apparently he had. Uh, he had overindulged in lunch that day and, and he didn't realize and he that's actually him um that's his own uh that's, that's his own uh that's bile coming up wow. from his own stomach that was caught on on video for all wow. of your horror enjoyment so there you go you have that that's impressive Pretty there impressive. are some trivia tidbits that should be left secret. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Coming from you, the one person who wants to know everything. I love it. Okay, so she's he's talking to the he's talking to the detective here. Oh, should I click on something? What do I click on her? Maybe the cubicle. Click on the cubicle? Okay. Ah. Oh. Where, where, oh, ah. Why didn't you like Mr. Arnold, Mr. Craig? He wouldn't white up. He was an ass. He was a creep. Did I miss something? He was a backstabbing sleaze. Oof. I see. Not something you want to say to somebody. No, no. Not like, okay, can I click on the, there, there. Who are you? Extra scene. Who are you talking to? What were you actually eating? I don't remember. Should we do another chicken? one? Was that chicken? <laughs> chicken. The sausage uh, from Game of too. Ah. Uh, I don't remember. I blocked it all out. What was that? You I were don't remember. eating. Ew. It was lunch. Please stop it. Look at the You're acting. Continue this another time. I actually was sitting like this the whole time. I'm, I'm, I'm exactly, I'm doing exactly what he was doing. <laughs> Muscle memory. memory. Impromptu meeting at the Dream Retreat. Impromptu I'm meeting. We're going to do some improv. <laughs> so it's time for a little improvisational. Man, there's no way the Dreaming Tree is not a front for something. It's totally They're not true. making any money. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> They don't seem to serve food there. Yeah. Um, thanks for coming, everybody. This was a big budget really day for this group. They had all five actors in the same room at the same time. Tragic wow. and horrible. If anybody should want to talk to a grief counselor, the company will make one available to you. I don't know what else to say, guys. I'll go get some drinks. <laughs> I'll go I don't know what else to I'll, say, guys. I'll, Anyone I'll, up for burgers? No. <laughs> I'll go get some tequila shots. <laughs> <laughs> guys, I don't, uh, I don't feel so well. 
Till top my head to go up there. Uh huh. Mm. Will will it just will it just fidget or is it gonna be gonna play a scene? You know, pause the game with the okay. control F five. Now this is an important choice, Tori. Okay. You need to choose who to talk to first. Well, before we do that, let's talk about what Curtis saw. So, so Tori, you Curtis is seeing his what? What did you call him earlier? His doppelganger. His demon doppelganger. His demon doppelganger. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, so he's yeah. So what do you? Well, I'm trying to remember what Bob said when he was sitting at the computer. He said, uh, "Your kiss your hard drive goodbye." Oh yeah, kiss your hard drive goodbye. Um, okay, and I and I remember that you there was a tip three pieces of eight celebratory shots to everyone. <laughs> Happy retirement to Bob. <laughs> celebratory <laughs> shots! Yay, Bob's gone. <laughs> Thanks, do I do? Um, there was the bloody towel, um, and and now he's. Yeah, there's there's either another Curtis or he's hallucinating. I that's yeah. So it seems like what well, this is what I like about this game is that at this point, Curtis is either um, he was in a mental asylum mm. for a year or for a long time. Uh, his mother clearly had mental problems and hanged herself. So either he is having these hallucinations and he is somehow responsible for all this or there is this other thing and i like yeah. i like the ambiguity of it i think there's something kind of cool i do about too it. and yeah. i think the demon doppelganger said something about him killing his mother right saying that curtis killed his mother that right? curtis killed his mother yeah right? which is also another form of of guilt that someone a young child is going to carry around with them if if Right. You always mm -hmm. are going to feel like it's your fault if someone right. dies or leaves or divorces or something like that. It's mm -hmm. always on the on the kid. So there's a lot of really cool psychology to this. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, so now, but the big thing, let's not talk about important issues like that. The real thing is who do we want to talk to first? Yeah. So apparently this is like a life or death importance. I guess, I guess so. <laughs> no, you just get different scenes that you don't get if you choose the other one. Oh, okay. So... Um, is there a wrong choice? Are you guys going to go, oh, if she chooses, do you, do you want to guide her towards who to talk to first? Or is I mean, it... I'm, I'm leaning towards talking to Therese first, but I... Yeah. Okay. I why, why? Why? If I can. Because she lit, this, lit a cigarette. Like, she <laughs> looks like she has something to say because she lit a cigarette. <laughs> nice. Did, you, did we ask you already? Did you, you never smoked in your day, did you? No. Yeah. No. I but, mean, I, I, I like... Yeah, tried it. But you but remember, it, it, you remember it, it, all the everywhere we went, all the bars, every restaurant, oh every. I, I mean, is it crazy? I've, I've worked in bars where it was just, I don't. It was horrible. I, I was a young enough kid that there they used to. I remember my parents would smoke in movie theaters, and I think I remember them smoking on airplanes. It's insane to oh, me yeah, that, that was on the a, airplane. I remember that. Well, smoking on airplanes was a thing until the mid nineties. Recently, <laughs> yeah, and uh, that's insane. I think it was banned, like in yeah, it was uh, mid '90s, around that time. Yeah, and the, but international was allowed for a long time. And on buses and geez, it's insane. All right, oh let's... yeah, yeah, buses. Oh my god, the, <laughs> the fumes from the bus aren't enough. <laughs> okay, let's talk to Therese and see what she has to say, having just lit her cigarette. And I don't think Rockman was a smoker. You really held it together when you saw Bob splattered all over your cubicle. Cool as a cucumber. Yeah, my head was in a really weird place. I felt removed, like like there's a different like person. It was really real. Yeah, like mm -hmm. there's a demon doppelganger. <laughs> More Therese, or do you want to talk to Jocelyn? Maybe we go to Jocelyn now. Okay. Is that wrong? Am I? Is I don't know. Never much liked Bob. No one deserved that. No one. Oh, I don't know. What about Charles Manson? All the t 
top three Sierra leading ladies. Wait, just a second. Oh. oh, he said that Charles Manson deserved mm. it. Look at this. All three Sierra leading ladies together <laughs> for the first time, kind of across across decades. Here we go. Hi, yeah, that's so great. <laughs> and all of them blonde. <laughs> uh, OK, more more Jocelyn or more Therese? More Therese. OK, you're, you're going back and forth. Here we go. Well, since I'm evidently invisible, Curtis, I might as well. Leave. <laughs> She's like, why did you click on her? You clicked on Therese. <laughs> Nice That's a good one. That's actually the game. I love that it was like Jocelyn clearly is angry that you as the gamer chose <laughs> Therese over over her. Did we miss anything, Daniel? Did I that miss that by picking her? Well, if you would have talked to Therese, I think you would have dropped an F-bomb, uh, which would have uh, uh, made the entire thing full circle because I think that when you guys played Phantasmagoria 1, um you said that you didn't use any curse words in this game but you did me or or, or tori no you told tori that you did use any curse words i don't I think was... i i'm I, I don't hear any daniel i don't hear any at all sorry there's no curse words Well, that's because you talked to therese yeah well <laughs> well that that's your word against ours <laughs> okay i'll make a youtube short oh no yeah do it you should you totally should I think it's the only time he curses, though, right? No, I think uh, Curtis drops two f bombs. Okay, all right. You um, remember that, Paul? Uh, cursing? Yeah. I, I don't. I guess so. I, I, I was a, I was a pretty good cursor in my day. It wasn't until I had kids that I became less uh, cursor. A, a cursor, like a cursor. <laughs> oh, someone just said that. I think. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, I guess we have. Only one more person to talk to. Curtis, let's cut to the chase. I've told you how I feel about you, and you've put up your nice guy protest, but with who dancing? Meet me at the borderline tonight. Borderline? What, the club? Mm -hmm. I've never been there. They seem to have gotten over Bob's murder pretty quick. Mm -hmm. Here's the address. Thomas, you're taking a long time with the drinks. <laughs> Yes, he is. <laughs> Wait, what time did she say she'd be there? At seven. seven. Okay, that gives him enough time to go to see his... Where did everybody go? Oh, here they are. They're just soda pops. That's it. Just. <laughs> well, again, the Dreaming Tree is a front for something. They yeah. probably don't even sell drinks. Yeah. They went to the 7-Eleven. Money, money laundering. But they did, I guess they would need to make some money to be able to launder it. Now look at that posture. That is not. That is the opposite of what he looked like in the okay. earlier version. Or it's just because oh. your shirt is all bunched up. Yeah, wait a minute. I, no, to... I was, I was sure. I was sure that you slouched in these scenes because you're too, you're too high. No, I for, just was for the sets. No, I wish that was the case. It also looks stop. like it also looks like I have a little beer belly right there too, doesn't it? it looks like a little. <laughs> um, all right. Well, what do we, we got? We got blobs. I'm glad we didn't do this when we watched me. Because <laughs> you can really pick apart some of. Well, I think that the, your fidgeters have been directed in a, in a more established environment in the actual studio. While they filmed the fidgeters when they ran out of budget, probably they tore out the studio while they were filming. Yeah. That's me going, gosh, I hope I'm still going to get paid. Do they still have enough yeah. money to pay me? I hope so. <laughs> Uh, you want to talk to Blob? Yeah. Right. How long was your shoot? How many, how many months? I think it was. I, I think it was supposed to be three months, and it was closer to five. It ended up going really long. Yeah. Six. Six months? Yeah, something like that. Wow. There was a there was a couple week gap. I remember. I got to, I went to Vancouver, and it was the first time I ever had money, so I went to Vancouver, BC, and got a really nice hotel and hung nice. out for a while. Um, all right. Hey, rat girl. I don't suppose you know what the hell's going on, huh? Different and obvious. You're a psycho killer. Qu'est-ce que c'est? Mm. Boy, Curtis is having a bad day. A I lot going on. Froze. Oh. Again? 
Yeah, it froze yeah, it. I just I just unfroze it and now it's froze again. Oh, sorry, folks. My apologies. All right, so now we're back. It's working kind of for now. All right, do we, is there stuff to look at in the... We're home for a reason. Is this another day? Is this the same day? It's the same day. Um, <clears throat> can't, huh? let's see. Um, oh, there's that, that lit up. What's that? The bookcase. Lobotomy is the answer. What the hell? Lobotomy is the answer. Lobotomy is the answer. I have that. Look book. at that young kid. Look at that guy. Fresh out of grad school. He was going to take the world by storm, that young actor. <laughs> Little did he know. Little did he know. Um, okay, lobotomy is not the answer. Did he get a it lobotomy? Should be. Did he get a lobotomy? Now I'm wondering if he actually got one. He might have. In the intro? Well, no, that was shock therapy, but we just saw the, the scalpel coming towards his head. Is this a, 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 a flashback or is it a, I hope that, or is it just a night, night terror or a daytime terror? I love the fact that we thought that uh, playing the game again on the conversations with Curtis only after less than a year would be ter too early. But I don't feel in the lead. <laughs> just keep forgetting things. We can play it every month. <laughs> I totally <laughs> could. No, I would just. I would. I would. Um, I will. I will own you... some of that. But I will also say that I feel like I'm. I'm learning new things. Having you have Daniel, having played the game hundreds of times, it's my second time playing, and I'm learning. I'm seeing new stuff. You're not gonna buy it. Yeah, you guys can't see him, but he's giving me a look like. No. You're you're the lead actor in the game. That was done 26 <laughs> years ago, and I was not really, I was just doing a gig. I wasn't thinking about all the... You weren't really paying attention. <laughs> no, I was just trying to memorize my lines and move on. <laughs> uh, okay, do we? is there anything I to see, do here? I see you're reading the book titles, and you're saying, lobotomy is the line. <laughs> line, exactly. <laughs> um Oh, I just got a Paul's memory equals goldfish. All right, Moffat Reborn, I take back my my thank you of your last Give gift. Give him back his hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> All right, do we can we get out of here? Or do we? There's nothing to do. Do we have to? What, can we go see our go oh. to our appointment yet? I wonder. Should we look at this post-it note? Oh, we did that already. Is there anything to do with the post-it note? Infection, revelation, desecration. Why don't you just click it on him and see? Yeah, that's a good idea. No. No. Okay. It'll mm. probably come in handy some other time. Uh, you want to go see that? Go check out uh, the appointment, you said? Yeah. Okay. Well, guys, I will say, though, that we are at 153, and Tori has her, her son's birthday is today, and she has been generous and kind enough to to give us this much time, but she we decided that we are going to be done at 2 o'clock. So, Daniel. Do you think mm -hmm. we should do a Wheel of Curtis, or what do you think we should do? Um, uh, what, 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 we've got seven minutes, six minutes. Well, <laughs> With, you want to do a Wheel of Curtis? Or we'll do, do you want to go to the, um, do you want to just go see the, walk into the therapist's office and see what that's? <clears throat> what do you think? Well, I don't think that you can go to the therapist office just yet. Too early. Oh, it's not five thirty yet. No, we need to. We have to go back to work. We need to go go to work. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we have to go back to work. Okay. All right. <clears throat> um, I think Please. I'm gonna Please. save. Okay. But here's this. Let's uh, let's take a look at the chat, and we will. If you guys have any questions for everyone in the chat is uh, or wishing your son's uh, your son yes, happy they birthday. Are. Yes, they oh, are. Oh, thank you. I'll tell him that. That's so that's so nice. Um, okay, so I'm going to save this, and then I'm going to move. To, let's stop that, and then I'm going to move this to us. Okay, so here we are. Um, boy, it's been great. It's a, it's such a. I mean, we haven't. I haven't looked at the chat very much, so I apologize for that. But there's a lot of you guys, and you're having a blast. It's good to see all the all the talk. 
Uh, we will do, uh, it looks like Daniel's putting together a, a Wheel of Curtis. If anybody has a question for uh, Tori or myself, feel free to throw something on there and we'll, I'll try to answer some. But this has been a lot of fun. So yeah, Tori, why don't you give us a little recap of what you're, what you're thinking about the game in general, what you're liking, what is confusing, mm -hmm. what's going on? Well, I really like this game. It's fun. I think um, my feeling is that he was given some kind of experimental um, drug or something, or um, but I don't know. He was he was experimented but, on. He was experimented on, but um, I don't. I'm still not sure if he's. Where's the uh, evil coming from? If, if you had to yeah, guess, where, what's the from him? Or the, I don't think there's another. I, I don't think there's another one of him. I think it's. I don't know. I'm not sure yet. I sent you the link. It's, okay. It's um, it's good because it's making. It's there's so much to wonder about. Is there anything? Yeah, you're wondering about the game. Paul is wondering about the game. Yeah. He has no idea how it I... ends. <laughs> It's all mystery. We're the perfect team. We are. <laughs> is there anything about this game that reminds you of? Uh, are there any films or you know movies that you watched back in the day that this kind of reminds you of? Um. Wait, just a second. I'll send you a new link. Oh, all right. Because I need to add God Fifth. No, not that I can think of. It's just so. It's very gory. I mean, phantasmagoria can be gory too, but yeah, you got some gore. Fun. You got your head got split open for goodness sake. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, that's no, it was gory, but yours is more, um, you know. And then there was the monster, but yours is more realistic. Yeah, gore, I sent you a new link. Well, the, the what was it? The uh, um, the, the the gardening tool and that and the oh that, yeah, the trowel. That, that was pretty pretty gross. That was yeah, yeah. I, I think. Uh, I think Phantas yeah. One can it holds its own in the gore yeah. gore world. True, um, true. Okay. Um, all right. So, a couple. I'll do this really quick, and I'll let you go. So, it's not called Phantasma Fluff, Fluffia for a reason. That's true. <laughs> um, uh, okay. And then Johan has a question. One question for Paul: Are you or have inter Are you interviewing the guy who played Tom? I remember him as the crying cop from Twin Peaks, and how was it to work with him? I'd like to talk to him, Michael Donovan. I think his name is, and I, I feel has, like he works a lot, right? Oh, does he? Maybe I, I. I don't know. He looks familiar. Yeah, I'd love to talk to him. There's a number of people I'd like to talk to. We also found um, uh, Regina. Um, what was her last name? Regina Hill. No, Regina. Um, anyways, the actress who played um, the. the Detective Powell. I think she's a really oh. interesting artist and it would be interesting mm -hmm. to talk to her. There's a ton of people I would still like to talk to regarding Fantas 2, but we ended up kind of moving on to other games. I felt like we had kind of pretty much covered as much as we could with Fantas 2. So maybe we'll we'll circle back at some point, but I'm not sure that's that's where I'm going to be. Uh, we'll see. Um, all right, let's find our Wheel of Curtis here. Here we are. Let's make sure that Godfit is listed there. Godfit is, oh boy, how do we go? Here, I'm going <laughs> to, well, there's Tori, you're all lined up. Okay, let me line, here, I'll, I'll line up, I'll line Wait, up it's, Daniel. it's not the one with Godfit, and it's frozen. It's frozen, it'll be, it will be the one with Godfit. Um, okay. Let me, here, I'm just going to turn. By the way, while, while you're, doing, you're doing this, uh, John Magnus sent me an email, and he said that he doesn't, uh, uh, his name wasn't in the Patreon list, so, so we, we apologize for, for that. that. What? And He's always uh, been in the Patreon list. That's sorry about that. So, so we'll rectify, rectify this issue. issue. Yes, mm -hmm. for the oh, next live stream. Is it? Is it all? Is this? Is, is this is the one now? Is this the one? Uh, no, no, where's where Godfit? God sent, sent you the, the second link. link. I thought you sent me. That. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's do it again. Um, Oh, sorry, Tori. We're, one more minute. We're almost done. Okay. Uh, and then oh, no, don't worry about it. Uh, I, I don't have any, like, I'm not. Fine. Okay. We can, we can do a wheel, wheel of Curtis, Curtis for your son. son. Oh, it's this one. Okay. I wish I could see it. I know. It looks like you can. When you watch the, the this again, it'll look like you're looking right at it. Mm -hmm. But that's not true. Okay, so is that? <laughs> oh, come on. 
it's not working where no god fit there either let's see is it this one oh i know okay let's see did I push Paul out of the scene, scene because our uh, frames, frames are stuck, stuck together, together yeah. so it looks I, like I'm pushing. pushing. <laughs> it does, it totally does. Okay, there is God Fett. Uh, let's see if I can change our scene so that it does look like you're... Okay, let's see if we can get... Oh, here, I can see if I can get both of us on here. There I am. And there's Daniel. We're both here. Okay. What a <laughs> mess. Okay. Here we go. Everybody wants to hear Daniel make the the clicky noise. Yeah, I'm making, making the, the wheel. Let, Let me know, know when you click it. Okay, I'm clicking. Here we go. And go. <laughs> All right. Okay, MDQP. It's going to be between James Jenkins and MDQP. Oh, this is going to be a clear winner. James Jenkins is the winner i don't know what we're even doing the raffle for but congratulations james way to go nice work fantastic um oh there we are uh, uh james jenkins you won a sexy postcard oh i thought that let's go uh you won a sexy postcard all right <laughs> tori thank you so much it's great to see you as it always great to see you guys nice work on on all your sleuthing it was really fun yeah. and and happy Hi, birthday yeah and we'll be yeah, back thank you. we'll oh. be back next wednesday happy birthday to your son and we'll do a, a one day before thanksgiving thanksgiving gabriel night two next wednesday so Great. Uh, we'll check Fine. in with you then all right uh, i'll let you go have a good one and i'll talk to you soon bye all right bye and uh all right guys that's that's our game for today thank you so much for joining us daniel thank you for as always keeping us on track and keeping us in good humor and guys, thank you for joining. We had a really nice big group today, and that is exciting to see. So I hope you had a good time. Uh, and uh, please tune in on Friday for Daniel and my uh, continuation of La Chuck's Revenge of Monkey Island. And then Monday, this coming Monday, we will have our live Q&A with Noah Antweiler himself in which we will take questions from the chat. We will start with questions from our Patreon members. So if you are a Patreon member, I did post on our uh, Patreon page um, a, a question post for you to, to leave your questions for him and you will get first priority and we will make sure we ask him questions there first. And then when we have time, we will take questions from the chat and probably from our Discord channel as well. So. Uh, so if you wanna make sure that your question is answered by Noah, then, then please consider joining us on on uh, patreon and again thank you to those patreon members uh for all your hard work and we'll see you guys uh see you guys soon all right take care everyone say goodbye daniel bye all right see you guys take care have a good one t-shirt bye guys <laughs> <laughs>